right, all right. Hello, YouTube. Making another short video. I'm taking my. I'm making a short video going to the grocery store. And this is the way it is. Look at this beautiful sky. Look at no skim, no chemtrails. Zero chemtrails, y'all. I don't know. Something funny over the last 20 years with these chemtrails, and all of a sudden we got none. The second video I'm making in about a week's time. There's not a single cotton picking. Nothing. Not one stripe. Beautiful sunset. So that's what it is. There we are. It's going to be a beautiful day. Uh, got a few things going on. Man. <laughs> got this app called Periscope. Everybody's fighting and stuff. That, that's besides the point. Uh, let's see. Current events. We got uh, President Trump is being invited to talk about these nukes. Talk about them. Just to talk about them. No big deal. Just uh, is what it is. But uh, oh, here's something really cool that happened. They had the uh, GOP in Cal Southern California uh, for the uh, uh, what do you call it? Endorsements. For the GOP endorsements for the uh, Republican Party. And well, it wasn't perfect, but <laughs> Omar Navarro had taken third place out of three people, so he was eliminated. Way to go, uh, Edwin. He's eliminated for an endorsement, which it has a ripple effect. It does have a ripple effect. There'll be a lot of things that happen because he couldn't get the endorsement. It just, it's pretty much over. Uh, you know, he couldn't get, he couldn't land the endorsement. Too much bad news, too much, he's too young, man. He's just, you know, not that he's a bad person. And I don't want to, that's a stretch right there. But, uh, hello. Not that he's a bad person. But, uh, he's definitely not what you would want to call a very nice person. Uh, you know, I... When it comes to the United States Congress, you can't play games. Uh, these people are in charge of military spending, uh, immigration, uh, things like that. There's important stuff going on down there. Whether we like to uh, believe it or not, there's important stuff going on. And uh, we can't have somebody down there that's reckless and doesn't care, gets a bunch of money and spends it real fast. We just can't have that. Uh, that's not conservative for one. That's not even, not only is it not fiscally, it's just not conservative. You don't, conserving means that you, you save things, you prevent things from bad, and you can't just blow a big wad of money and then ask for more from another pack or ask for more endorsements. This time he asked for an endorsement and didn't get one. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get Edwin. Apparently, it was 31 to 29. Edwin Duterte. Fortunately, it takes two thirds. So I'm not sure exactly how that plays out in California. Um, they have different laws across the United States for different parties, that kind of thing. So, well, hats off, anyways. Edwin Duterte did come out number one, but there was no endorsements <laughs> at this time. So we'll just leave it up to the voters. And uh, you know, a charming young man, uh, but not too young. He's got, he's got a guy. I see a little bit of gray. I see a little bit of gray. You know, I seen it. I seen it myself. So I don't know how he handles. It. He puts a little slick him in there or something. I'm not sure, but he's a good-looking guy. You know, he's all about. He's like that high, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't matter. He's got a big heart. He's got a big heart. I know it. You can just see it in his face. He's got a warm smile. And uh, we're trying not to bash anybody. But uh, Maxine Waters off the hook. We could we could bash her. What a beautiful day, huh? Beautiful blue sky. Yeah, Maxine Waters. We could bash on her for a little while. That woman is nuts. 
that, that woman, she's she's unhinged. I don't know. Is that the best they got? I mean, I I kind of feel bad. You know, if that's the best for the Democrat Party that they can come up with out of the 43rd, uh, I don't I don't know. And this has been going on for like 30 years almost. Oh wow, wow man. I hate to go all Cheech and Chong, but uh, speaking of Cheech and Chong, <laughs> I made a meme when I put Edwin in the front seat of the uh, Love Machine, man. The Love Machine, man. It's just a love machine. Remember that song? Yeah, you wouldn't if you. Well, you had to be around in the '70s, you know. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, Cheech and Chong had a bunch of albums come out. They were record albums at first, you know, and they do these little funny skits. You should, you probably check them out on YouTube. Uh, here on this forum, check out the uh, uh, Blind Mellow Jello. Blind Mellow Jello. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, Mexican American. That was a song they had. That was actually on a movie. Uh, that was a, that was a funny one. And uh, <laughs> that was a really funny because Chong, he's from Canada, and he turned it into a different song completely. Mexican American, and he had a whole bunch of crazy lyrics that went with it. And then he says, "Well, let me try it." You know, Chong, he's all stone. Let me try it. He says, "Beaner, Beaner." So that was kind of funny. And then Cheech looked over, like, "What?" The hell? And he just went with it. You know, <laughs> like, "All right, all right, it sounds pretty good." And he went with it. So that was when comedy was comedy. You know, we don't have that much anymore. We don't. We don't find stuff like that funny anymore. It's, it's always got to be offensive, and I'm appalled. And, oh, how dare you, sir? That kind of thing. And we're better than that, you know. We got to have a sense of humor on some of this stuff, especially now it's, it's trickled over. It's kind of catchy, I guess. It's kind of weird. Hmm, something smells good. But I'm getting ready to go into a secure location again. I can't really, I can't really film in there. They don't like it. They frown upon that. But uh, yeah, I'll cut this one a little short. But uh, yeah, it's, it seems to be catchy. We got, uh, you know, we got conservatives out there that are kind of cutting each other's throats. It's really hard. It's really heart heartbreaking to see because I, I thought it was just Democrats that did that. You know, you know. Apparently, uh, when the buzz wore off from uh, Trump's win, when the buzz wore off, it seems like everybody's kind of the same. You know. And I thought it was just, you know, it's kind of heartbreaking to see. And uh, unfortunately, some of these people are, people are so, you know, they're all happy when Trump won, but uh, now that the thrill is gone, they're just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to get depressed over it, though. But I can't film anymore, so I'm going to cut this one a little bit short. And uh, like I always say, God loves you, so do I. And, Keep the chin off MAGA. I guess it's not MAGA no more. It's Keep America Great. So it's CAG. K-A-G. Keep America Great. And, uh, okay. I'll roll with that for a little while. MAGA was getting old anyways. God loves you. So do I.